Hey everybody, this is MG Vids bringing you another, or the latest in our Boom Beach uh, episode series. Um, and just to give you a little background on this, so this is this is, will be our third episode. And the whole point in doing this is, uh, you know, I, I have not read the blogs or watched any of the other YouTube, you know, strategy advice web pages, etc. Um, I want you guys to be able to see what I'm learning and figuring out, uh, what I'm doing wrong that you can laugh at uh, or give me some advice about, and then maybe what I figured out I'm doing right, and hopefully maybe you take away a few things uh, that can help you out in your gameplay. Uh, since last time you see, I did add a statue uh, to help uh, completion time, but uh, one thing I wanted to go over today in this episode was, so I've just had my base rated for the first time, so I kind of wanted to review, you know, what did that raid look like and how am I going to change my design. Um, this, w this right layout right now was an improvement over the first one, but uh, again, I still think there's some issues because I don't necessarily have good coverage across all my defenses. Machine guns out front, but um, you know, mortar all the way in the back. I, I want to have as much overlap as possible. So let's take a look and see what happened here about two hours ago. View battle. Hopefully it wasn't as simple as them just bypassing everything. But you never know. Okay, we knew the shell was coming. And what troops is he going to bring? Okay, so he's got four landing craft. So one more than me. So he's already got his main up to level six. I do have level five sniper towers, which is helpful, but I mean, he just wasted that. I mean, what, what I've been playing around with is actually stacking my buildings out in front of my sniper towers to force them to try to have to blow those up before they can even reach the towers. The rocket folks would probably still have some range, but I'm thinking that might be an actual, uh, a better possibility. Because you can see he's guiding with flares. Uh, the mortar is already gone, and now I don't have any defenses. So that was really not very good. Um, but you know what I mean? I think... <clears throat> if I had buildings out in front of those towers, um, and he just bypassed all the mines, too. Those didn't work out very well at all. Uh, I wonder if that would uh, slow him down enough to where uh, I can get more engagement with the sniper towers. So, another... Um, just go ahead and exit that. Another thing I've been toying with is digging out a little pocket in the back in the tree lines uh, I may be tucking my base back in there uh, but I mean it's really not going to matter unless I have good defense so I think what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to do a redesign and try to get as much overlap as I can I mean sniper towers are covering everything but I feel like I can push some of my buildings to the front create essentially a wall to block off my sniper towers and bury them in the center and that is going to give me at least delay the enemy, right? Any raiders from being able to get those towers right away. So I'll do a redesign and then I'll come back up, show you where I'm at, and then maybe we'll do a, a resource raid or uh, take on Commander Hammerman. Uh, just right now, I, I need to get m my wood production up so I can get some of the other, these other upgrades. Right now, I'm only bringing in, you know, 1200 per hour. I have been up upgrading the sawmill, but I've got a second resource site that's available out on the map. And I need to do a raid there. So there he is, resource base. So let me go ahead and do do um, a reconstruct from this base, and then we'll go ahead and do another cast here, and I'll we'll, we'll go on a raid and see if we can't crank up our wood count. So this is MG Vids uh, bringing you another episode here on Boom Beach, and I'll be back with you guys shortly to show you where I'm at. Take care.